The Arachnor family is my favorite in the Pikmin franchise because it defies all logic and reason. Aside from a few outliers, the ecosystem featured in these games paints a very clear picture of the kind of world they take place in. It's ours, kinda. They have little bugs and rodents and birds and fish, and most adhere to some kind of realism. And then you have Arachnors. These absolute lads are literally made out of tinker toys and pipe cleaners, and they are the best thing about this entire franchise. The first boy, Mr. Longlegs, Beatty if you will, is my favorite of the bunch. When you encroach upon his cool room in the first game, he'll drop from the sky and start stomping around like a thing in another thing. He's quite tall, built different if you will, so you'll have to use yellow Pikmin to reach his body, also known as a freaking circle. Every four steps Beatty has a window to shake off Pikmin that are clinging to him if you've done enough damage, and you can get into a pretty clean rhythm once you get the timing down. If I had a Beatty Longlegs as a pet, I'd take him on really slow, stompy walks every day. He returns in Pikmin 2, but this time, he sucks. All Pikmin types can reach his big cranium, and he dies in like one hit. Ooh! I do have a trivia fact, though. On death, Beatty Longlegs gives you a whole heaping helping of nothing, but this isn't actually how it's meant to be. He's actually meant to drop unmarked spectralids when he dies, it just isn't implemented in the final game. I learned this from a video Pickhacker made a few years ago, and that video offers a much more detailed explanation of what's happening here, so I'll have it linked in the description. The reason Beatty got nerfed is because he has two new siblings, both of which are much more frightening. The Raging Longlegs is the most similar, essentially just being a thicker version of Beatty. She uses the same movement patterns, but has a much larger body, feet, and health bar. This means that while it's much easier to get Pikmin on her weak point, she takes forever to defeat, and the best place to throw Pikmin from is also the most dangerous. Also, she gets upset when she shakes off Pikmin and starts stomping around super fast. My plan of attack is to stand exactly right here and hit her with the true combo. I only bring 20 Pikmin at a time, because if you bring any more, they're just gonna die. I have bonus trivia for this one, too. This is the only boss to appear in Pikmin 2's two-player battle mode. She appears on Variation 3 of Angle Maze, as well as randomly generated layouts. You gain literally nothing by defeating her, but she's a really fun obstacle to throw at your friends while they're collecting marbles. As for the other sibling, you all know it, it's Man at Legs, of course! The gun havingest member of the Circle family. Instead of stomping your Pikmin, this thing pulls out a machine gun and starts mowing them down. This not only makes it the most threatening orb, but also one of the coolest things in this game. He returns in Pikmin 4, where like BB, he's nerfed, but this time it's because every enemy is nerfed in Pikmin 4. Whoops. Pikmin 3 introduces one new variation of Bouncy Ball, but actually it's like 6. The Baldy Longlegs is the exact same thing as Beatty, except he looks realistic, so literally what's the point? He's exactly the same as Beatty, but worse. The key difference is that Pikmin can climb Baldy's legs, but not Beatty's because of his... <clears throat> waxy secretions, which make his legs slippery. I'm pretty sure this is just meant to explain why Pikmin can suddenly do this now, though. It kind of feels like offering a canonical explanation as to why Blue Pikmin can't do the lifeguard thing in Pikmin 3 and 4. They didn't program that part, that's the explanation. The most annoying member of the Daddy Longlegs family is the Shaggy Longlegs, which is the same as Baldy Longlegs, except you have to attack each joint before his weak spot is revealed. It takes a really long time, and there's no way to expedite the process. You just have to get good at charging multiple legs simultaneously. I said there were six earlier because there are three variations of both of them. A summer and winter variant, which are functionally the same, and the golden variant, which I gotta take a short tangent to complain about for a moment. Pikmin 3 Deluxe was unfortunately developed in 2020, which means that all the bonus content they added sucks. They recycle the same old stages again, but this time they're ridiculously easy. When you get to level 20, you're promised a sort of final boss for the mode. Now, you've been collecting pokos and ship parts through the story, so it's sort of a Pikmin 1 and 2 callback. Anyways, the final ship parts are inside a gold spray-painted Baldi and then a gold spray-painted Shaggy. They also have raging longlegs type feet, but the Pikmin 1-esque music playing makes me feel like maybe this is supposed to represent beady longlegs? I don't know. I did it better. Baldi reappears in Pikmin 4, but is definitely not beating the knockoff beady allegations this time. All of the variations mentioned previously are absent, leaving only summer form Baldi. He really feels like an afterthought this time around, and is clearly just used because that's the standard longlegs now, I guess. The last member of the Long Legs crew is unique to Pikmin 4, and it's actually really cool. The groovy Long Legs stomps to the beat of her own tune, which varies throughout the fight. She also has a hypnotic air about her, and by that I mean she emits hypnotic dust that causes Pikmin to think that song sounds really good. Basically, avoid the dust and fight like normal. In the trivia section of the Pikmin wiki page for her, it says, a good way to deal with the groovy Long Legs if you don't have good timing is to simply go at it with Ochi and no Pikmin. 
It may take a while, but Ochi and the captain are both immune to the damp spray, meaning that the damp spray has no effect on them, which means only the stomps can hurt them. In other words, they would get squashed if they're stepped on. Pikmin 2 and 4 players be like, I bet the best way to play this game is to make this boss last 20 minutes so I don't lose a Pikmin. Yeah, excuse me, I'm just gonna stick this right here? Uh, thanks. While not Arachnorbs, I have two honorable mentions. The first is the Titan Dweevil himself. It would feel weird to not mention it here, as it's functionally very similar to the Mana Legs. It also stomps around on tiny little feet. It's also an unholy amalgamation of bug and machine, and it's also armed to the teeth. The main difference being that it has multiple different elemental weapons, and this time you're allowed to break its toys. I talked about this fella in greater detail in a video I made a few months ago, so go check it out for a more elaborate explanation. The other is the least similar to a traditional Arachnorb fight, but I just thought I'd cover all the big stompy guys in one video. The Quaggled Mireclops is a boss in Pikmin 3, and it's not winning any awards for cuteness, I can tell you that much. Alien Fruit Head attached to Massive Island attached to three bulbous, squishy feet. This is easily the largest Pikmin creature, it barely fits on screen when you're fighting it. As a consequence of Pikmin 3's boss design, this fight is much more intricate this time around. You have to attack his feet to knock him down, crack open his protective crystal, and then wail on the fruit-like appendage. His giant feet create large puddles that scatter the field, so it's very easy for Pikmin to drown there. Phew, that was a long one. We learned about so many spiders today. Please leave a comment, I don't really care what about. I do actually read every single one, believe it or not. And your continued viewership helps inspire me to keep this channel going, because the ad revenue certainly doesn't. If you're struggling to think of a comment, use one or all of these example comments. How was your day? What's your favorite GameCube game? How many crackers have you eaten this week? Thank you, bye bye. <laughs>